my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a cozy fall organize with me. We're going to do a little bit of baking. We're going to organize the front hall closet right behind me and a few other things. But I'm extra excited because today's video is in collaboration with Ava from Journey with Ava and I found her over on Instagram and on YouTube. She is one of the sweetest women I've met through this process of starting YouTube and has such a kind heart. You guys will absolutely love all of her content. She juggles it all with her kids. She has a job. She's crushing it with YouTube. She just hit a thousand subscribers, which is such an accomplishment. And to make this video even more special, the two of us wanted to give back to you guys or give back to somebody that might be struggling in some way. I know this time has been really difficult for so many families. And so we wanted to do a little coat or jacket giveaway as we organize and get ready for fall and winter. It's so important that families can afford jackets for their children. And again, I know this time is tough, so if you would like to enter this giveaway to win a coat or jacket for one of your kids, or maybe if you want to enter on behalf of somebody else who's been struggling right now, make sure to leave a comment below and let us know that you would like to enter. So with that being said, I'm excited. Let's jump right into the video and get baking and organizing. The first thing we have to do is set the fall mood. So I'm going to turn on these little twinkly lights with my leaves that I've added on my island and light a fall candle just to make everything feel nice and cozy in here. After we've set the mood, we're gonna set the mood even more by baking some pumpkin coffee cake. Now this is a healthier pumpkin coffee cake. It uses almond flour. It uses coconut sugar if you have that on hand. I didn't, so I just used regular sugar, but it's a great recipe. It turned out so moist, and I'm ashamed to admit how fast we finished this. I'll leave the exact recipe that I used in the description box below, but it ended up being super easy and super flavorful. So now that I had the dry ingredients mixed together, I'm mixing all of our wet ingredients and then going to combine the two. We fly. Like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they wanna tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. I'm using my baking pan and then going to put the base layer into my 8x8 Pyrex baking dish and then start to make the crumble to put on top, which is the best part of a coffee cake. Let me know if you think the same thing, but that crumble with the sugar on it, it just kind of makes it. The crumble was just almond flour, sugar, coconut oil, and pumpkin pie spice. Once it's all mixed together and nice and crumbly looking, you're gonna sprinkle it on top of your base layer and then pop it right in the oven and let it cook. There's something different about the way we are Now it's time for the main event, which is to organize my coat closet. This is my front hall closet. And you can see I've completely taken this thing over. My husband doesn't have any jackets in here. This is all mine. So it's really time for me to go through and declutter. He has some other stuff in here as well, but it's really mostly mine and it would be nice if I could make some room for his stuff too. Although he does only own two jackets and he just leaves those in the closet. Now I'm making a pile of things that I want to keep and things I want to get rid of. So the pile right behind me are jackets I want to keep. And then the pile a little bit to the left on the screen there is the pile of stuff that I think I'm willing to get rid of. Okay, you guys, I have five raincoat type jackets, five waterproof jackets. 
Nobody needs that many. I like showing this jacket. This is the jacket that I use to coach for figure skating. If you guys didn't know, I am a figure skating coach on top of being an attorney. And so this jacket says Coach Sophie on it and I just love it. What do you, what do you keep telling me nothing? Now it's time to organize my bin where I keep all of my winter gear. So that's my scarves, my hats, my gloves, everything like that. And I've gone through this relatively recently, but I think there's still a few things that I can get rid of. Even if not, there are scarves that need to be refolded. Actually, since the last time I reorganized this bin, I acquired one more scarf. I was in Minnesota with my family a few weeks ago for a wedding and it was kind of chilly out. And I took one of my mom's cashmere scarves with me to keep me warm and I loved it so much she actually let me keep it, which was super sweet of her. So I have one more scarf than I had before. The pumpkin coffee cake is done, so I'm gonna cut two slices, one for me and one for my husband, and look how good that looks. Now I'm gonna take a little break, and of course I have to make some pumpkin spice coffee and sit down and try it out and sip on my coffee, because of course you have to have coffee with coffee cake. Can we work it back? Only time will tell. Into the rest of the hall closet, I know I can get rid of one of my umbrellas. I have three and I felt like I could get rid of one that was from the J. Crew outlet. It's actually really flimsy. It was cute, but it doesn't really work. I also keep all of our extra grocery bags and reusable bags in the hall closet. It's perfect because I can grab it as I go. But a lot of times when I use these for groceries, sometimes things leak. I use them for other things and they get dirty. So I'm gonna go through, check the insides, make sure they're clean, and try and declutter a few that may not be in their prime anymore. No, no, what is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling. You'll see I have my car scraper. So as we prepare for fall and winter, Denver actually has had its first snow. So I'm gonna pull that out and stick it straight into my car. Only time, will tell. It's gonna take time to load it all back up again. So I'm gonna go in rainbow order and start by adding my pink jackets and then follow all the way through with black, gray, and then all the way to white. I wanted to take this organizing project as I do with all organizing projects to the next level. So I'm adding some little labels onto these bins. There's only two of them at the top of the closet and I know what goes in them. I feel like sometimes my husband doesn't necessarily know or sometimes I do get them confused. So it's helpful for both of us to have these labels. And I'm just using bin clips from the container store and then labels I make myself using my Cricut. If you ever wanna purchase labels, I have that in the description box below. If you ever wanna start making your own labels, I also have that in the description box if you wanna know exactly what tools I use to make my labels. One last look, here is the before of the closet. And then here is the after. Maybe it doesn't look like a huge difference, but it feels so much better to me and I wanna show you everything I decluttered. So I got rid of three reusable bags, an umbrella, a little pom-pom for a hat, a hood to one of my jackets I never wear, those vests I'm gonna relocate to my closet, and then I get rid of five jackets and I'm going to either consign those or donate them.
Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you got a little bit of fall organization motivation. Maybe you're gonna go tackle your hall closet as well. If you haven't checked out Ava's channel, make sure to do that next. Her channel and her video will be in the description box below. Don't forget to leave a comment if you are interested in entering the giveaway. We would love to be able to give back in some way. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, or if you came over from Ava's channel, I would love to have you join me over here. And until next time, I will see you guys later.